Hey everybody, welcome to my life and times, stories for the people, by the people. And I came across this uh, interview with Tupac. It's an old one, but I thought it was some good information that was put in there, so I decided to use it for an episode, so I hope you enjoy it. This rap, bro. I ain't talking about his money. You know what I mean? And I'm not telling the rich niggas in the game because it's frustrating. All these, a lot of niggas go black, but I'm saying it's like, it's not the money that I'm bragging about. People see me with the jewels. It's not that. It's manifestation. Yeah, it's for these little niggas to see you. Just seen me in a cup shot up in a wheelchair with my head wrapped up. And you see me less than a fucking year later bailing through this motherfucking jewel down like clock of doodle. Banging on me. I got this whole shit shit up. Everybody talking about this West Side shit, right? People like West, uh, Ice Cube stuff. I was in jail when Ice Cube was out. No, that wasn't no problem. The day I got out of jail, it was a motherfucking problem to be where the fuck he was from. The day I stepped out, that's power. I want these little niggas to see that. I didn't get that power from guns because there's no guns in jail. I got that power from books and from thinking and by strategizing. That's what I want little niggas to see. And that, that just for a year, niggas think, you know, you've been in the game so long, but it took all that shit that matters because the way off oh, it, it veto all that. When they charge you way, even if you ain't doing it, veto your career. I started from scratch with Death Row, a new company. Not in, I was independent when I was too far. Me against the world, I just bought my old manager's out. I had it all now. I resigned to, to be a part of it for my own, but it's to make my own shit big. And now I got Machiavelli Records. And Machiavelli is the first artist on that. And then One Nation is the second artist on that. And then um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm signing um, Greg Knight and Smooth to either me or Quest. I got another group at Quest, Ghetto Stars, that's like an offshoot of the Outlaw. You know what I mean? I got New Jersey as part of the West Side now. You know what I mean? Just like, just like war. We put our flag in Jersey. We ain't taking over Jersey. It's still East Coast. But it's just the West Side. There's, there's now a West Side to New Jersey. Because West Side is not part of the map. I'm not no dumbass motherfucker. I don't bang for the color or the, or, the, or the land. I bang for the principles and for the honor. I'm banging for the West Side. This is in my heart. This, this, this is how I feel. It's not West Side. California, right, this is where I'm from. It's, it's, it's basic like that, but it's really deep, like West Side, you know what I mean? When I be throwing up the W, it ain't for California. I love California, but the W is for just the East Side, it's the West Side, it's the Middle middle America, and we divide it. And that's why I throw this up. We have war right now, the W for war, you understand? And when we all get together, when the East Coast and the West Coast and the Middle America get together, we got power. Right, right. And that's when I won't throw it up no more. When we all together, they only see me doing like this. And that's when we close to the arm again. But we ain't there. We still all separate and tribe. So I know what tribe I'm in. I'm in the West Side. There's no way. I'm a soldier. I always be true to those being true, being true to them. And New York shouldn't be tripping. They should be loving it. Because they the ones that gave me the game to do this. In addition to this. Because the West Coast rappers too that don't do that. What made me wrong is that I'm West, I am got both. I'm the future of, a, of black America. When we, when, we, when we manifest the best of the West Side and the best of the East Side, and we bring that together, you know what I mean? When East Coast G's have sex with West Coast G's, these G's being women, and they have kids, that's going to be the, the, the new breed. You know what I mean? When you start reading this culture with this gangbang shit. Right. That's the new breed. That's the United States. Right, right. To right now, we stuck. The only thing we can do is start with the I know you saw on the Sheree article where he said that this was not just, you, you want a recording artist who were like a, you know what I'm saying, theatrical type shit. You know what I'm saying? Acting. Yeah. This is what I don't like, uh -huh. is that my mother told me that when Malcolm was alive, why did he do shit like that? Right, right. And then when he died, that same nigga will be talking about, he interviewed me, and he'll be writing a book about my life, right, right, right. it'll be the whole thing, right. and I just don't like that. Right. Support, if you don't understand right. me, don't write about me. I don't ask black niggas to jock me. I'm just saying, be honest. You know I'm, you doing something I can't do, and I'm doing something you can't do. I respect you, respect me. You know there's no nigga out here like this. I don't have no insecurity about that, and no no delusion. Ain't no nigga like Tupac put it down. My weaknesses and my strengths. But everybody know my strengths definitely outweigh my weaknesses. As long as that, I'm a human being. 
I'm like everybody else. And, I have, and if I meet somebody perfect, then they can train me. And they can help me be perfect. But there ain't nobody out there perfect. So we'll all just get along with each other. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? I felt like that was wrong thing to do that because that's something I'm, like I always was raised like there's certain times when you don't fuck with a nigga. When he's down, you don't kick it in. That's what I thought. You know what I mean? And all this, this, this really taught me about like this black people thing. I don't be, I, I'm black. I believe in my people, but I believe in my people as it relates to my tribe. I don't believe in us overall, just imaginary niggas. Black people attack me. I mean, not all black people. That's why it's not a, it's not a general state. Like I don't like black people anymore. Not that. I love black people. I love my people. I am black. Per se, I don't look at it as general. Right now, I'm not racist anymore. I kill myself for racism. Right, right. You know what I mean? If somebody be mad, like I'm with somewhere, somebody sing the right girl. Can't believe, it, but it's not to me. It's like I'm a totally new human being. Before I was like that, and I was bitter, and I, and that's why I was so evil towards black sisters when I went to jail. Cause I felt like I didn't sleep, I didn't fuck with them bitches to be there for y'all. And y'all put me in jail. All right, well, cool. But that I was wrong to have that kind of thought. Cause I, all black women don't owe me shit, and I don't owe them shit. You know what I mean? But to represent, you know what I mean? But to be me, you know what I mean? Appropriate, have better feelings, make a better nation. I possess his soul, his empathy. They know that I was the truest nigga involved with business success. I was the biggest help. I was the truest nigga. I don't write his rhyme, but he know how much he ball with me. He know how I stop my shows and let him touch the show. Let him blow up, do his whole show in the middle of my show. How I used to buy him shit and give him shit and never ask for it back. How I used to share. I used to share my experiences in the game and my lessons and my rules and my knowledge on the game with him. You know what I mean? He owed me more. He owed me more than a turn of and act like he didn't know niggas was about to blow my fucking head off. He knew. That's what I'm talking about. And then, if that's cool, he disappeared. Be, be a fucking mouse. Be a mouse. If you are a mouse, be a mouse. But for me to know, like, three weeks ago this happened, and then three weeks later your album coming out, and you are fucking done. And your album. But you don't know who shot me in your fucking old town, this nigga's from your neighborhood. And I gotta find out by myself, and, I'm, and I don't even call myself a dime, just a capo. From the west side, and I'm on the east side of jail, and I know who touched me, and I know everything that happened. That's power. That he didn't know, so he was faithful. And I was mad about that. And then I'm out of jail, and I couldn't believe that everybody was treating Biggie like the biggest fucking star in the world. I couldn't believe that people was buying into the play image. And I just wanted, I wanted to bring back that reality. You know what I mean? Just like... I can't never, I can't never, nobody can never be confused and think I'm fucking Mike Tyson and I'm a heavyweight champion. I'm a little nigga. That's why it's so raw to watch me just battle lions because I'm a little skinny nigga battling niggas three times my size. But Biggie is not a player. He's never been. He's never had bitches until he got some fucking money. That's a trick. That's not a player. It's not a papa. So my point was to prove him wrong. I took everything that he glamorized. And I personified, bro, bro. He, he, he glamorized Versace. Versace, I didn't call Versace. Versace called me to come to his show and gave me a gang of free clothes and act, please wear my shit. Please do some shit for me. Can you wear my shit? You are the image of Versace. I swear to God, you are. That body, that's Versace. I swear to God, Armani, you are so handsome. You are, please, you know what I mean? From him, don't you find a man I ain't rocking a face show. Uh, Valentino giving me suits, gangster suits. Everything he glamorized, I personified. Everything he want to have, I got. Jew, look, come on, man. I got more Jews than Slick Rick. Slick Rick loved the nigga to fucking death, but I'm definitely doing it. I personify every image that nigga face, I personify. I really bring it to him because I'm, I, I looked up to these niggas. So everything they talk about, I really got into it, studied it, and tried to perfect it. So I know what you pretend, and I know it. The same thing they love about me, they gotta admire and you know, but they forgot. People forgot that same shit that made them want to kick it with me is the same shit that's whooping his ass right now. And that's why when he talks, you can hear it in the interviews. He wanna say, I wish I could take this shit back, but he can't. He, he already committed himself to lying. So now the only thing he can do is act like he don't know what the fuck is going on. And listen to it. Think, people have to think. If some of your best, if this was happening for real, is this, would this be your reaction? Right. Unless you was guilty. And all that shit about my own boy telling me, you know, don't sweat that, you know. He's dissing me, but all my friends telling me nothing. Oh, so you, you're following that. So you were following that? Why didn't you?
your own boy tell you not to make rhymes when you shooting the record makers in the, in the stuff. You know what I mean? That's why niggas be like, why'd you stay on the end of your record? You was like, the they kids were going boom, boom. Honestly, I didn't write none of that shit, man. I didn't write nothing. I was just blowing up on the studio to keep me from really killing me. And that's what came out. But I don't have no mercy in war. They didn't have no mercy. They kids, they, they tried to shoot my fucking balls off. What about my kids? They was like, why you talking about them being the um, sickle staff? They tried to make me a paraplegic. What the fuck is going on here? Why is that sacred? You know what I mean? That's not sacred in war. I, I was in writing, giving these niggas love, my beat. The guard knew him. I was like, tell them niggas, I love them niggas. You tell my shorty, yo, them niggas is bad, man. When they did that, they proved that they really just little niggas. Just little niggas that want to be heard. I'm a, I'm a, I used to be a little nigga. I know where they at. I know they can't touch me. That's why I can destroy them so fast. Soon, nobody will be that they, They're not going to believe this shit. I said it in the beginning that I was going to take these niggas out the game and sure enough I will. All right, people can't look at Biggie and not laugh. I took every piece of this power. All I want to do is take them to where I was when they didn't want to support me. And I there will be no support. And anybody that's trying to help them, I will destroy. Whether it's whoever it is, I will destroy. It. That's what I'm doing. Everybody that's trying to side with them or do a record with them or try to unify with them, I'm going to destroy. It. I swear to God. Can't nobody touch me right now. Maybe next month all of this will be over. But this month, I'm taking every moving target out. Because this is a very personal thing for me. And I feel like people should have gained my respect. Y'all know I was not like this before. Right, right. I did not attack people. I, I was not on no East Coast, West Coast. I was the major bridge between the East Coast and the West Coast. Niggas came, call me. Get you whatever you want. So this is very serious. Like if America sent an ambassador to Iran and he get murdered, Iran got problems and Iran should know that. And that's what I feel about New York. They should know that. Separate yourself from this nigga. And that's what's going to show. And they already do it. I got niggas to judge. I got niggas out there. But it's like the media is pumping it like East Coast, West Coast. Right, right. So some of these niggas that's old and whose careers is through, you know what I mean? Like De La Soul that can come out and talk that um, Renaissance shit and try to clean up hip hop. See? I'm all for positivity, I'm all for change, but I'm not for niggas masquerading. Right, right. You have to show no records, if shit ain't popping, don't come in here and start criticizing as your comeback. That's wrong. Y'all, right. you know how hard it is, you know how you felt when you had no money and no record deal. Why are you going to try to destroy another nigga's career? Don't do that. Represent by example. And if you truly had a better lifestyle, then people will, you get five million sales. I'm not saying my lifestyle is the best. I'm saying this is the lifestyle most lived by the most motherfuckers out there. Or a variation of. No matter where you are. I'm not just, I'm not no gang like on some killer nigga shit. I'm on some survival shit. Whether you a girl and you got three kids you trying to go to school and work and make it. That's too much. I came from a crack by my high school dropout and look at me there. Every time they throw an obstacle in front of me, I face it, let everybody know how it feels while I'm going through it and then hurting it and let everybody see it. Every time it's coming in front of me, I have an interview, tell everything that happened, do it and overcome it. Talk to me a little about like the process of like dealing with them. Like... The first part was the, the what first made me is humble. Not because niggas were scared. People took that vibe and it was so wrong. I was not in no danger. It wasn't like niggas were screaming, I'm real king. I was walking around in fucking $200 sweatsuits in Rikers Island. You know what I mean? Living. Eating good, living good. Niggas were giving me love. Niggas singing me shit. Black kings giving me shit. Everybody giving me shit. Like you represent, we got love for you. It was love. It was out of that love that I was like, yo, thug life is dead. I was like, while I'm in jail, this is going to jail with me. Uh -huh. Nobody has power. Nobody is like me to be able to represent this while I'm locked down. I thought I was going away for years. I couldn't let nobody represent that. And I, all, and I was seeing how many soldiers I had by coming to jail. I was like, oh no, this is, I got to stop it. I got to rethink it because I didn't plan thug life. I just said it. It was how I felt. I said it and I lived it. Now I got to take my life, see what I live, what I represent, and I got to dictate what this is and then let niggas get part of it. So that's why I kicked and murdered and choked it. All the niggas that was rapping with me, I murdered and choked their career as far as being with me. Because if it was a drug life, it would have been, some, you know, shit would have happened if I wouldn't have got shot like that. So this drug life got destroyed.
I came back out with my shit. And even then, I still had niggas on my team that shit had on my team. I should have started all new with family. Now everybody on my team is family. So why are you why are you in jail? Like, what 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 was the turnover? Where where did it turn from being like? You know? Just some niggas talking to me like like.
You went through me, should I should, you know like I went through all the channels. Yeah. I paid my dues. I brought my agenda. Right. You know what I mean? And people voted for me. Between you and Biggie, it was like, who's going to, who's going to, who rules the, the, the nigga kingdom and shit, basically. You know what I'm saying? I was like, this is like a fucking it is. election. It's an election. It is that. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Me and Biggie's situation is smaller than that. Me and Biggie's situation is like, some mob shit. Like, yeah. they're the boss. Right. When I was right. in jail, bad boy, puppy was the clown fucking Don. Even though Shug as big as he was and Snoop, right, right. at that point, they, they just with two million sales, they, they, they took the whole shit. Right. Because Shug had Snoop to worry about with the trial. He couldn't right, be right. out there. That's what you're supposed to do. Right, 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 right. Into Tupac, a young cat. I want to join the family, dog. Get me out. I want to join the family. Got me out. Well, I'm out. I'm in the family. We make out. We do. We do. Satan shit me in the drink. Uh, me and the biggest shit. We was, every day I did my album, we was there every day. Uh, every night we stayed out, we tossed it up together, we went out, we went to Mexico together, we went to Hawaii together, we went everywhere. You know what I mean? And thought about it. And, um, to me it's like, it's, it's, it's like that cop that dropped that gangster shit, not like to glorify, but it's the it's politics of it. Right, right, like the politics of right. it. The yeah, only like, way for me to, to come back it's a, there's no two-man spot. It's only one spot over like what you call nigga kingdom. It's really like, it, it's more stronger than that. It's, it's like once you get, once I hit you up with the word, you'll never think that again. It is the nigga kingdom on a basic level. But deeper than that, it's the, it's the power of black people. This is where our power lies. That's what as I'm far saying. as fashion, it's the young nigga. As far as the word, slang, the movies, what's hot, it's the young nigga. Yeah. We control that. Not alone, but we, we like the main nigga, right. you know what I mean? And he was that main nigga, and everybody tried to be like him. And everybody, nobody was successful unless they came from his camp, right, right. when they was down with him. Right, right. And that's how my shit is. Now I'm the boss, and if I'm not, and, and if I'm not a good person, then it won't last long. Somebody can be able to overthrow me. Right, right. But I feel like my, and right. my shit, right. But I feel like only way for that to happen is for a great a fan of me to do that. Right. A fan of me. You know what I mean? Because I was, I was a fan of Calus one. Right, right, LL. Right, 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 All them right, niggas right. who I can. That's why even if they came out dissing me, I could destroy them. I've mastered their style. They could keep writing new shit, but I've mastered their style. Like the five deadly villains. Right, right. They had the five deadly villains, right? And the teacher made one more nigga that knew all their styles. So all he had to do was get next to a nigga like that. He could destroy them. All I need is niggas from New York, you know what I'm saying? I had dope with East Coast shit in the fucking world. I mastered that shit. Cause East Coast niggas love real shit like West Coast niggas love real shit. Right, right. Mastered that. All I gotta do is get more, get deeper to the drums, uh -huh. you know what I mean? And get deeper to the science of the five boroughs, cause that's what that is. Right. But when you get to the science of the five boroughs, that's so small. I hate going to there. I hate going there. And I, I don't think that New York can let me go there. Right. I could give you a group that could go there, I'll rap on their shit, let them go there. But the five boroughs is not how we're going to take over a nation, right. how we're going to have a nation. And that's what I feel. I know the five boroughs inside and I know the signs, I know everything, the history, everything. Uh, you know what I mean? But I know the world history too and that shit's small. It's, it's right. dope. It's like, it's like a cool ass hometown, but it's got to grow. Right. And that's what it's about. And it's the fact that most motherfuckers living living the West Side, you know what I'm saying, living that lifestyle. That's the, big, that's the majority, right. and it's just like that. That's what what this is like, 90%. 90%, and this is 10%. That's why I could, I, I knew this. I knew this. I knew this when I moved from New York. Right. That was my first lesson was to know that I can't keep swimming. I'm from New York. I'm from right, New York. Right, 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 right. That's, that's the, you can't do that. You learned that lesson quick. I learned that quick. Because New not. York is where everybody comes to. There is no New York. Niggas from New York is from the West Side. And from down south, they all migrated right, to New York right, and kids, right, and that's what happened. Right, right. That's why New York has the most style. Because it's, it's like a gumbo pot of all these different niggas. Like right. southern niggas with shoes and right, right, niggas, right. you know what I mean? That's where the style comes from. Right. But, that's it, the little thing. And Biggie was the down of that. Now, I, just, I took over his kingdom. Not took it over, but it's still niggas in New York bumping my shit. They ain't like my record ain't selling in New York. And when I was New York, I outsold You know what I mean? It's like a politician's race. If I lost New York, I won the other 49 states. And that makes me in control. Now I'm the new president for the next four years. Right. Crucial conflict can go five times platinum, but nobody's going to let them sign no bill. Right. You know what I mean? They can't make no hip-hop laws. Right, exactly. You know what I mean?
You know what I mean? Like, how we get it. Uh, how we make it. Like, how I plan to make it. I plan to make it where niggas don't have to dress in Versace. But you don't have to dress in khakis either. Right, right. My niggas, some of the niggas dress, like, you know what I mean? Thugged out, some dress khaki out, and some dress like me. I'm 25, so I can't be khaki out. That any nigga you see out there khaki out, as old as he is, like, you know what I mean? I don't care if you put it out there or not, but I just don't like, like, I, I did ice cream. I looked up to him. But because I looked up to him and I studied his style, mastered his shit, I know what he's doing is wrong. He's a shit ass seller, so now he's going on the war shit, right. and he's using us as the gas. He just dropped some shit called that ass. Mm-hmm. And if you listen to it, you can see me her hit him up, and it was like, oh, that's how it's supposed to do. Uh-huh. Why he wasn't making a bad ass when I was in jail? That's what I mean, that's wrong. Right. And now that's wrong, and I'm not gonna let that happen, because then that would make me obsolete. If I let him come back and take, you can't have this. You know what I mean? I'm not doing that. And De La Soul and all these niggas, I won't let them do that. Like, Melly Madden, the true pioneers. They diss me, if they diss me, I would diss them. But they came to the studio, every time I see them niggas, I, I, I bow down to respect them. Not bow down to them as men or as performers, but as elders. Like, that's like if you see any old mob nigga coming. You know what I mean? Get that nigga a table before you give me a table. Let him in before you let me in. Because I do know I'm the gun man. Uh, but I know if I'm not the Don, I want that respect because that to be the Don at one point means you had to have something. Right. And for him to write the message and all that shit, it did inspire me. It did do something. He got a pass. Right. Unless he crossed it. And he has it. So we're trying to get him a deal. He's about to get a deal just using my name. And I got free and got rich just using his name and using his record. Right, 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 right. I did the same thing to Nas, homie. I swear to God, I see this nigga Nas. At the house of blues, I caught him out of pocket and everything. I was deep with my niggas. I know he didn't have no gun. We could have rushed him right there. I was like, what's up, yo? I said, yo, this East Coast, West Coast shit, it's not about you. Don't be caught up. And I swear to God, we love you. We got love for you. And I saw Wu-Tang. I saw Method Man. And like a couple months earlier, they, one of their niggas had got, um, he was in, in, in our club, 662, and somebody slashed the chain, you know, put hands on him. We got the chain back and found a nigga that did it. That's love. And I went to Method Man like, yo, we have that nigga shit want to talk to you. That was never our orders. No, that wasn't supposed to go down. We got the niggas that did it. We got the shit. Whenever. That's just me. You know what I mean? That's how we are. This nigga Nas went back home and started talking to that fake thug and dropping with the Jews and the shit. And that's wrong. Because you should have said that to me when I was right there. He knew his eyes and said all this shit. And the nigga was like, don't do that. That means you're a punk. You know what I mean? I won't hug a nigga I don't like. That's why I'm telling you now, when I see Big, it's not gonna be like we're gonna attack him every time. I might be in a good mood. I might not wanna be going, this shit is so minor. This is not about me and Biggie. Everybody keep talking about it. Y'all making this nigga bigger than he is. Right. Do you hear me fucking talking about this? This is about, a, this is a major plan, a major strategy. That was the impetus or the starter or the generator that kicked it off. They happen to be the, 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 the regime before me, just like Republicans hate Carter or whatever, now the Republicans are like, we can't wait for Bush to come back, you know? Just like now I'm in power, they, everybody that, that love Vicky, they all like, I can't wait for Vicky to come back, or somebody like that, or, or not. Nah, that's why they root for them, they root for they, for they, 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 they people. And, and when I was gone, that's why all my niggas was like, we can't wait for them to come, and that's why they rushed the polls. They wanted a new regime, and my regime includes the East Coast. It includes the West Coast. It, it brings money. It's economics. You know what I mean? I study this shit. Yeah, I bring in money to New York by signing groups, by Death Row East. That's bringing money, economics, that's sales. I'm bringing the bridge through this motherfucker. I want to start an athletic team where all the rappers sponsor a team. Right, right. You know what I mean? I'm bringing the community, the community involved. I'm giving money back to the community. We got Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, and Christmas so far, Death Row. We've been doing that every We're going to do it every year. Clothing, eating, that's, come on, that's the welfare right there. We are the best choice for this fucking the two millennium. And I'm the only one in it like that. This nigga Biggie bitch on my fucking godfather. That's why I said the down when I did this my record, you watch too many fucking movies. No, who's gonna fucking follow you? These niggas talking about Al Pacino, they getting the Italians mixed up. They like Al Pacino, Luciano. That show you what type of niggas you deal with. Only thing they like is the sound of an Italian nigga's name. <laughs> the Italians I speak about, what really truly great niggas? 
And I thought it'd be great, man. Black or white, I'm gonna study it, learn it, so he can't be great to me no more. Like, and I like Mac, and that's why I don't say my name's not Mac My name is Macabell. I took it. That's mine. He gave me that. You know what I mean? I took that. Just like, and I don't feel no guilt. That motherfucker, all these motherfuckers stole from us forever. I'm taking back what's mine. Right. It's just that they recorded it when he said it. Right. It's probably something he took from us that they didn't let us record. Right, right, right. So there's no shame. You know what I mean? Like, oh, great. Yeah. The no doubt. No doubt. And I feel like I'm not always like people bashing like they are going to. Why did you into this Italian mall? It's not about Italian to me, but all about studying. I studied the CIA, America. I hate America as, as for what we did, but I love us for being strong. You gotta do that. So what? We don't got a good image. We're the strongest motherfucking nation. That's me. That's me right fucking there. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck if y'all don't like me. I got the bomb. Can't nobody touch me. Won't nobody rush me. Something we doing right. That's that capitalism shit. Because you can feed your kids with that thought. All that other shit, you can't feed your kids with that. You can't feed your kids, you can't have a nation. So that's what's more important there, to me, is to take the, um, the discipline, the seriousness, and the bond that the mom has, to take the um, enthusiasm, the morals, the principles that Black Panthers had, and the strength that the Black Panthers had, to take the camaraderie, and the um, go all out, we'll die for you, um, all of us as a team that the police had, to take um, the nation is first attitude, whatever we gotta do to be number one, that United States takes, and I'm, that's what makes me unstoppable. And take that nigga attitude that, that makes me look at all of that shit, study it and learn it, take the, the young African American to have the talent to exhibit it, you know what I mean? And take the businessman, take the president, to take the philosopher to be able to break it down to an actual philosophy. Right. And that's what Kaluminati is. But it's up to you to bring it to the people of us we're going to have an East Coast, West Coast war because I'm not bad with that. I'm not going to say, you know, everything I did was righteous by the rules of war. You know what I mean? And they got to recognize that. But it's, it's really like right now it's not New York because New York got love. If the writers, the radio people are using this as some way, they don't know what to talk about. Right. So that's what it's, Just like you sat down and thought about that nigga them shit, you can sit down and think how they, you can, you can make people see it as clear as it is. Just like you, we're on the same level. You, you look at things and you figure out how it's like a big plan to it. You know, it got to be a big plan if this shit is happening. Like you were saying about me and Biggie being like politicians. That's how I looked at it. Like, wait a minute, this shit is, I look at the rap game, like how it is. Like, every couple months, a whole new right. genre, a whole new genre. Yeah. They'll say, like they got a whole bunch of writers talking about gangster rap is dead. Those are the ones that don't like gangster right. rap. Right. That's like the writers that right. don't like Republicans. They, they do that they, thing, they spin. You know what I mean? And then there's other ones that are like, Tupac, John, the bad, you know, who those are the ones that love it, those are the radio people that love it, right. you know what I mean? And our job basically is not to, I'm not, I don't want to see them dead, because by the other side being who the other side is, that makes me the best man. You know what I thought when I was in jail, what, what fucked me up, what turned me like this, and I was like, no politicians is even getting at us. And right, 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 right. And no politicians is even checking for us. They're not even sending us nothing to try to make us, they're not even thinking of it. And in business, you know, if you want to fuck with somebody, right, you right. know each other. They're not even looking at us like that. That means we ain't a threat. Right, right. So by the next election, I promise. By the next election, I promise. I'm going to be sitting across from all the candidates. I bet you. You know, I'll be making it. I promise you. I'm not even going to be, I'm going to be so far from where I am now in four years. God willing, I'm alive. It's all, I guarantee you, we will, we will have our own political party. And it won't be just for black people. It's going to be for Mexicans. It's going to be for Mexicans. It's going to be for black people. It's going to be for Armenians. I don't give a fuck. All you lost tribe motherfuckers right now, we need to have our own political party because we all have the same motherfucking thing. We built this nation and we get none of the benefits. I already had famous records, kids. I'm in this shit for the honor and the respect. That's why this shit feels so good. It's for the yeah, it's for the balance, but to be a family, to be known as something, but to get this, this 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 dark cloud off of us as a race. I want to be some kind of sunshine, some kind of exceptional being. So we can all stop sucking Malcolm X and Michael Jordan right, right, right. You know what I mean? Like we don't never have to be shit because we got Jordan and Malcolm X. Right. I'm not with that. And there you have it, folks. Episode 3, My Life and Times, A Tupac Story. Peace, and I'm out.